This is such a cool apartment. We're in Greenwich Village right now in a super old building with one problem. It's uh, it's just not that big. Don't worry, you're growing into it. I'll grow into it. Welcome to Union Square, or should I say the area just south of it? That's the Empire State Building. Gonna see a few apartments today. If you rent one, you can visit Strand Books. Forbidden Planet. They will sell you a Terminator statue. What, you don't have one of those yet? Pokemon cards, clown stuff, Thor hammers, and scary dolls. I just like the life-size R2-D2. And the lamp from that Christmas movie. Nerd heaven. Then we have a store over here for rebellious teenagers who are currently in a fight with their parents. Local cinema, but they don't advertise the movies. No movie posters on the wall. That's probably because they're all terrible. As you can tell from all these bikes, it's a convenient part of town. A lot of trains come through here. If you've got places to be, those will get you there. There's also too many banks here, but this is one of those Capital One cafes. Look, you can get yourself a latte. That'll give you the energy to complain about how the ATM fees are too high. The reason these carts are everywhere is because it's kind of like a tourist area, but there's a line, so that's a good sign. And there's also a brand new Popeyes. It's so new, they don't even have signs of their incredibly healthy and delicious sandwiches on the window. Look, that glass is fresh. Oh, then over here you can get yourself an Iron Man suit and make money, just like Tony Stark at GameStop. And like the city of New York when you don't pay for a parking ticket. Then we got Foot Locker and Kids Foot Locker. And a gym that doesn't actually want you to get in shape. They just want you to have fun and pay the membership fees. It's gonna be tough though, because right next door you got Wendy's and then you got Taco Bell. I used to love Taco Bell, but the other day I had some and each bite just became progressively more and more disappointing. It's been a long time since I was a college student. This Mexican place is pretty good, and you know they're doing something right because they're on this massive busy corner. The apartment's two blocks that direction, and there's actually a lot going on over here. Cuban, more Mexican. Nice, there's a chicken place. Good chicken. And then there's some sort of village cinema. Then we got ourselves a cute little cafe and the strip house. It's a steak place, $46 sea bass. This is actually my favorite steakhouse. Their porterhouse for two is amazing. Their tomahawk steak is amazing, but sea bass is a scam. Sea bass is actually the Patagonian toothfish. And just like realtors make up names for neighborhoods in New York that aren't really there, chefs were like, you know, this toothfish, if we just call it a sea bass, people will buy it. Good morning. We got some mystery apartments today. Oh, uh, we got some mystery apartments around. Wait a second, the real mystery is that earpiece. Are you a spy? How did you know that? I knew it. Big place, a little interesting. Very interesting. Each room is a king size. What's the rent? $67.50. Three bed with two baths. So the cool thing about this place is we've got one of the longest hallways you've ever seen. Look at this, you could have a roommate and not even hear their phone ring. You've also got windows here, they face the rest of the building. So we've got two bedrooms that way, the kitchen, and then rooms two and three. You know, you have to mention that they're nice and spread out. You do have a lot of privacy. But is this kitchen gonna be enough for three people? Okay, I couldn't get the light to turn on, but the fan turns on. And we got pretty good water pressure. Also, look at this, we've got ourselves a dishwasher next to our fridge, which opens the right way. You can put two breakfast stools right over here. Oh, that's smart, right in front of that little cabinet. And if you need more room, you can put a breakfast island over there. Also, this is granite. There's a window back there. Also, the cabinets, they are everywhere and reachable, even if you're short like me. Look at that. For this neighborhood, this is definitely above average. That might not mean much to you if you live outside of New York, but here, this is really good. How 
big do you think the living room is? I think it's 19 by 15. The iPhone measuring tool says 15 by 10. I was half right. And in New York City real estate, being half right means you're 100% correct. <laughs> that is right. I like the track lighting and the exposed brick. Table, couch, TV on the wall. And even though the windows are dirty, I consider that an asset. You won't need a curtain. If you can't see out, nobody else can see in. Also, the great thing about this place underneath this box, this here be your heater. Whenever you see the valve and the wheel, that's the kind of heat the landlord pays for. Charles, you think this heater's big enough? Of course it is. But we need to talk about the bedrooms. Two of them look like this, but the one renegade down the hall, it's a little bit different and it doesn't have the same view as the other two, which will be good for sleeping. And the layout's really good. It's got its own private bathroom and it's got a decent sized closet. This is awesome. Private bath all to yourself. Look at that, it has a standing shower. There's a hook for your towel. Shower head's a little quirky, that's okay. And for some reason there's two curtain rods. Um, I don't know why. So Solid water pressure. We got ourselves a medicine cabinet, hand towel, toilet paper, definitely a full bath all to yourself. That would make me rent this room in spite of the view. And it's a good size, queen size bed, easy. The heater is twice the size of the one in the living room. And next to the heater, we have a heat pipe right here. It could be that the living room heater is a little small because the bedrooms all have big heaters. We're gonna figure that out in a second. But the question this room is asking is, would you trade sunlight for a bathroom? Let me know. This is the kind of bedroom most people want. Why is that? Did you see the windows in there? Look at that, three gorgeous windows, sunny facing the street. And I like the quirky fire escape view. Gives it some character. That white bar is an AC bracket, so you can plug your AC in. Here's the outlet. You can also kind of see down the street without even going out to the fire escape. Big bed over here. And luckily this room also has a gigantic heater, so it looks like temperature, comfort, that won't be an issue. This is the closet where we're putting our stuff, pretty good. And there's cable hookups. If you wanted to configure this as like a den or something, you could do that, even though it's a great bedroom. The third room is almost as good. You can see we've got a very similar facade here. And this little corner is just because the building kind of wraps around AC bracket, killer view, I love it. King size bed in here as well, if that's what you want. How's our closet any different? Nope. This is a big bathroom with a big tub. Absolutely. Pedestal sink. The mirror is like massive. Got that hand towel holder that shows the landlord cares. Also, you got a big window here so you can open it up, let the steam out. Plus you can have your soap and stuff on the ledge. There's a secret in the basement. Oh yeah? I'm afraid of basement secrets. Oh, a little laundromat. That's awesome. You don't have to leave to clean your stuff. And that's rare in the East Village. Bus station, coffee shop, luxury tower. Full time doorman. Charles, I think this is more of a luxury building than the other one. Whoa. What is the sun like right outside the window? Dude, this is like a beautiful box apartment. What's it cost? It costs $4,400, but no broker fee. Look how far away the street is. It's like being in an airplane up here. We're taller than most other buildings in the neighborhood. There's also laundry and a gym in this very same building. If you wanna pause the video, this is all the amenities. Now what's cool about this apartment is what happens at the entryway. Right here we've got ourselves a closet. By the way, every closet in here is like extra deep. We got this guy right here. And okay, a studio with only two closets. That would suck, but look at this. We have a little dressing room area with a closet. And this is between the bathroom and the entry. It might not be possible, but you could probably get like a little makeup counter over here or a dresser. The closet itself, again, this is like a partial walk-in. To me, it's a full walk-in closet. <laughs> This is so cool. This bathroom has the old school hamper. You can put your clothes in here 
uh, before you get in the shower. And new toilet seat. Look at that. No one has watched a TikTok video from this location. Except for me. I'm watching TikToks right now on your toilet seat and there's nothing you can do about it. Although I guess you could replace a brand new toilet seat if it bothers you. This whole vanity, basic but bright. Look at all that storage. Come on, man. There's something about this old school luxury apartment that just makes a ton of sense. It's not the rent though, it's expensive. Whoa. The kitchen has a really small pantry. But look at the fridge. It has something called a vacation mode. I don't know what that means. It uh, might mean that when you turn it on, uh, it fills up with Ben and Jerry's ice cream and you can just eat way too much of it just like you're on vacation. And we got a little dishwasher. We got some funny little drawers. This one's the funniest because it's the smallest. Solid looking oven. Four outlets. One paper towel holder. Pretty good water. Sink sprayer. Even though the pantry's small, it'll hold a lot of stuff. And it's a big kitchen for a studio. There's lots of counter space. Cabinets are everywhere. Let's be real. Are you really going to use all these cabinets all by yourself in a studio? Probably not. And the actual living space here, I think this is really, really functional. This is 20 by 12 and a half. And that doesn't include this area by the kitchen. Or you should put a kitchen table. The place is so big, you can get creative with it. So then after your table, you can make this a den area. A little office set up over here. Like a little desk area in that corner, then a couch here. TV on the wall and bed. Mmm. And then over here by the window, we have the temperature corner. You might get a sunburn if you're me. This is a remote for your air conditioner. And that's your heater. There's nothing wrong with a sunburn. No power. The rent is 4450. Look at this. It's just like the place we saw with some differences. The first of those is the view. I think this is awesome. That's 4th Avenue right there. We're kind of facing south and west. And what's cool is over by the entryway, we've got like that same little powder room, dressing room, walk-in closet, whatever you want to call it. That's a nice feature. The kitchen here is also way better than the one on the 17th floor. Well, maybe not way better, but some people will appreciate the granite. It's also got counters opposite each other, so it's gonna be easy to make things. Plus the appliances look really nice. And the reason there's no power at the moment is because when the last tenant moved out, they didn't want to pay the power bill because they didn't live here and neither did the landlord. The bathroom's also pretty good. It's a full-size bath. It's got this cool glass little, um, it's a soap holder, that's what that is. I think. Not much to complain about with this unit. Here's the entry point. And look at this, we got double closets on this side. Look at all those shelves. Oh yeah. Um, and we also have another double closet on this side. So incredible storage in, oh, this is so annoying, this little thing. But if you leave them open, no one can get in or out. Then over here, we've got that dressing area and it actually has its own um, additional, oh, it got dark. There's another closet over here next to the bath. And the living space has the same dimensions as that other apartment. So if you want a more exciting view and a better kitchen, this is probably the studio that you're gonna be going for. Excuse us. Okay, this place is big and it's got a view. Right out there, that is a direct view of Union Square. You can check out the very corner of it, right there. And this is our first true one bedroom. Yes, it is. How much? 4,600. Wow, really? Absolutely. This is a good deal. Look at that, queen bed. How's the closet? The closet is great, it has organized and a light. Now it looks converted. You can see the wall kind of goes over the heater, but they wouldn't have done that if it was gonna be any kind of a problem. And you're not gonna have a problem staying cool. Look at the size of this AC. And the layout here is awesome. Just look at the size of this closet over by the door. It's so big that you gotta close the doors if you wanna leave. How big do you think the living room is? 20 by 16. Charles is pretty close. It's 22 and a half by 11 and a half. Half right. And 100% correct. Look at these guys walking around on their building. Guess they're uh, doing something fancy over here. And you could do something fancy with this living room. Couch, TV, dining table, bathroom, closet, kitchen. Whoa, this thing is narrow. Narrow like an arrow, but look at this. That opens all the way. The fridge opens all the way. 
and so does the dishwasher. Look at how close this clearance is. I thought we were gonna hit, but look at that. It doesn't hit the door either. If you're a landlord in New York City and you buy a ruler, you could build an apartment just like this one. Microwave. Water's good. Counter space, counter space. And this right here, look at this. It's a pantry inside the kitchen. Very useful. You said you had to show me something? The feature of this apartment is the bathroom. Oh yeah? Whoa! There's no fake drawers here. Oh yeah? Oh, they're all real. Oh yeah. That's a very useful cabinet. And I like this throne divider. You can be over here. Just in case somebody just walked in the bathroom, you're hidden. You're hidden. Look at that, lots of privacy. I can't see what TikToks he's watching. No, no, no. Also, look at that, we got ourselves a nice full-size tub over here. Built-in, ooh, look at that, little built-in hamper. That is a bedroom. <laughs> it could be. Linen closet right here, it's nice. At first this looked like such a basic bath, but it's all here. Check Charles out on YouTube. Let's get him to 10,000 subscribers. And subscribe to Cash. See you in the next one.